Hi, and welcome back to the third part of my web series. Here we are going to move ahead from project creation and look into time and expense entries. Let's move quickly to my computer screen for the demo. So let's have a look at the time entries in PSAV3. So for doing the time entry, I'm logged into my environment, I'll go to project services and then I'll go to time entries. Once the time entry is open, you can click on new. It'll open a quick create form. I'll select the date which on which I want to do the time entry. So I'll select the duration. Let's say I want to do a two hours time entry today. So I'll have to select whether it is a work, absence or vacation. If it's a project work, select work. I'll select the project name for which I'll have to do the time entry. I'll select the project. <clears throat> I'll select the project task. So the project task by default will show you all uh, the project tasks on which you have access. So remember in the schedule that we had created at the task level, we selected the resource. So I was selected. I selected myself on two tasks. One was go live in the project management. So I can select one task go live with the role that I want to build. So if I don't want to build with project manager, I can select any other role also. So like a developer, <coughs> I have a I have a description that I need to enter. I will put go live. Go live tasks. This external comments are the comments that will need to go out for the client. Let's say prepare a go live checklist so on and so forth. Now, if you don't select the vocable resource, by default, the one who is doing the time entry will come. Just for your information, this vocable resource field is out of the box, not available on the quick create form. This is brought in over here just to replace the delegate functionality, which is no longer available in V3. Delegate functionality in V2 was, let's assume, if I want to do the time entry on behalf of somebody else, delegates used to allow us doing that. But since V3 doesn't allow us to do that, what we can do is bookable resource field we can expose on the quick create form and select the resource on which you want to do the time entry. As of now, I'm just doing the time entry for myself. So I'll leave this field blank, which will take default as my name. I'll save and close this time entry. I, if you see, there is a two hours time entry that is done on the task for so go live work, which is in the draft state. Okay. Now, there is one more copy functionality that you can use if you see on the ribbon. Let's say if you want to make a copy of this and uh, you say, say copy this time entry mm, click on copy so you know you have to select the date range um, between which the time entry record will come up as of now in between this date range only one time entry is there likewise you can have multiple time entries I'll select this and click on copy so it'll create a copy of the time entry here which you can go ahead and edit it anytime. So let me open this time entry. So here you can change the date. Let's say if the similar is for 4th of January, I'll save it and you're done. So this saves a lot of time. This is one way of doing the time entry. The next way of time entry is when your resource allocation is done on the task and your organization strictly follows that the time entries should be done by allocation, a resource assignment I mean. So 
there is a pretty simple and fairly straightforward um, import functionality provided in v3 as well as in v2 so if you click on import from resource bookings what it will do is it will try to fetch the time entries between a date range and you can select all the time entries that you want to uh, make the time entry for they come actually from the resource assignment which we do on the schedule board so we click on import and import all the time entries inside now what you can do is open one record and start selecting the task on which you want to do the time entry for let's say I want to do the project manager select the role put the description okay save it now there is a beautiful functionality of editing the time entries via record set just click on this and it'll show you all the time entries from here you can edit one by one all the records so like if you scroll one by one to the record sets it'll take you through all the time entries and you can keep on editing all the time entries likewise and just save it the one good feature that you can use then let's go back oops Let's go on the time entries. Once the time entries are done, what I'm going to do is I'll select all the time entries and click on submit. So the time entries are now in the submitted state, if you can see. I'll show you one more feature here is if you go and click on show chart it'll show you the time entries done for that particular uh, week um, like eight hours are done on the project manager role and two hours done on the developer role so by a glance you come to know what exactly are the time entries done for that particular week so I'll hide the chart again yes we have covered pretty much features on the time entries over here Similarly, we can do the expense or entry also by clicking on the expenses here. It's all similar. So if you can click on new, you can select on the transaction date, let's say third. Expense for purpose must be travel to client location. And amount is, let's say, 250 bucks. I want to put a sales tax over here. Like, let's say it is a rupee that we're going to charge on for. Acer CRM implementation project expense category so at the moment there is no expense category yeah gotta be creating a new expense category let's go ahead and create a new expense category it'll be good so travel mileage chargeable okay so we'll create mileage mileage transaction category mileage optional okay <clears throat> so now we'll go ahead and do the expense entry expenses create new expense that's a third travel to client site 250 bucks no sales tax let's say the project is Acer CRM implementation project expense categories mileage travel on site for requirement 
gathering similarly once you're done with all the time entries uh, expense entries apologies click on submit and all your time entries will be submitted so all the expense and the time entries go out to the project manager for their approvals approvals is something that i'll cover in the next video thank you till then Suppose the time entries are uh, entered, they go to the project manager for approval. So let's go and see how the project managers approve the time entry. So once you click on this, you have to go to the project approvals. And if you see, there's a default view that is called time entry for approval, which shows all the time entries that are yet to be approved by the project manager. What the project manager does is select all the time entries or carefully selects which of the time entries that are to be approved. So once he selects all of them, there is an approve button that gets highlighted on the top. Click on approve. And you see it asks us to click on OK because behind the scenes the approval process is going on. Here the time entries get approved. Now we had done an expense entry also. For that we can click on the view and change it to expense time entries for expense entries for approval we see aces this and click on approve yep this is sorted and these are the time entries and the expense entries are approved now once the time entries and expense entries are approved they actually go and convert into actuals which are getting built on the project we look in the next videos about the actuals the journal entries and stuff like that and the invoicing part hold on till then thank you so much thank you for watching this part of my web series in case of any queries do inbox me at kgupta.com in the next and the final part of my web series we're going to cover invoicing and journal entries thank you and have a nice day